Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then hello. Today, we're at the Toronto Zoo, which is really exciting. I haven't been to the Toronto Zoo in years. Um, a lot of that has to do, of course, with COVID, but things are opening back up and we booked a time slot for 2.15. So the Toronto Zoo is the largest zoo in Canada. And one of the sources that I checked said it was the fourth or fifth largest zoo in the world. It is home to over 5,000 animals and is split up into seven zoo geographic regions. So I'm here with my friend Alex here. He's also a zookeeper. <laughs> yes, so we're here to see animals and hopefully uh, we get some good footage and I'm super excited. So I used to come here all the time as a child. My mom would bring me sometimes multiple times a year. This was a place that we had lots of memories. So this is how the zoo split up. It's split into these different regions. So we have Africa, Indomalaya. Um, this is the discovery zone for kids. Uh, Australasia, Eurasia Wild, Tundra, Americas. Oh, and then we have the Canadian domain. So this one we might skip out today um, just because it's a big hill to go up and down and we see a lot of these animals already here where we live. So we're going to go see some more interesting animals. We probably won't get to everything we want to see. We'll try to make do with the four and a half hours that we have. I've been trying to call go see the penguins and I'm actually really excited because I've been the most excited to see the penguins. Look at you, like, look at their eyes.
Look, he's the cutest. Oh my god, is he giving himself a scritch? <laughs> yes. Taking a really good bath. Oh. oh my god, guys. It's another one of the world's smallest tortoises. Let's go check them out. Well, they are pretty tiny. Yes, and then what's after that Eurasian Wilds and so. Oh yeah, there's two more after. So it's okay. two more to go. Yeah. It was so nice finally coming back here and seeing all the animals and seeing all the things that are different and as well the same. We actually were surprisingly able to go through almost the whole zoo in only five hours and see majority of the animals. Of course, if you want to really see everything, I'd say you should give yourself the whole day. But we had so much fun and you guys should totally check out the Toronto Zoo yourself. There's so many amazing things that they do and offer for people of all ages. I'll leave their website in the description box as well. And let me know what your favorite animal was, guys, in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Stay weird, everyone.